What is going on everybody? It's Lights and this is Madden Tip Tuesday. We're going to be breaking down a key concept on killing zone defense, not only in Madden 25, but something that's going to help you as we gear into learning about Madden 15. What we're going to be showing you today is makeshift screens, turning a slip screen into a wide receiver screen, and how that could effectively kill zone coverage no matter what Madden you play. Let's get started. We're going to start this off by doing it out of shotgun doubles and the slip screen is going to the right. So what we're going to need to do is put a wide receiver on a drag route on the opposite side of the screen. So in this case, it would be the left side. Now you want to preferably do this to a slot receiver and a quick receiver. So we're going to do it with Hester in the slot. We're going to put him on a drag. Now most zones have flat and purple zones. So to stop that zone from tackling our receiver as we break to the sideline, we want to make sure we have a flat route or any type of route going to the flats. Here in this case, we have the running back on a wheel. You can put him on a flat. You could put the tight end on an out route. Anything where there's a route going that way. What's going to happen is that running back on the wheel route is actually going to add an extra blocker. So if the lineman picks up the flat route or flat zone, the running back's there to go on the next level and either block a corner or a safety. So now we're doing it out of shotgun wide trips from right to left and we had the same positive result. This will work in any Madden you play because a drag route will always get underneath the hook zones especially if you throw the ball with a down and to the outside precision. As long as that receiver is not manned up then he's going to catch the ball with blockers going to the outside. Now here is a situation where our opponent plays zone but manually mans up the slot receiver and as you can see if he is manned up it could just completely be locked down, a swap pass, maybe even an interception. This is when you need to be smart. Maybe come out in a set like a tray open where you can do it to both A and RB. So instead of doing it to Hester, in which they manned up Hester, we did it to Bennett and got a good eight yards. So the easiest way to do it obviously is against zone coverage and when that receiver is not manned up. If he is manned up, however, there's gonna be issues. So here, this is just a two man under man coverage. The linebacker on the right of the screen is guarding Hester. We're gonna try this the same way we were doing out of zone and you can see the linebacker plays him perfectly for a loss of yards or a drop pass. Now there are key ways still to do this screen against man coverage. Now we don't know 100% if this is gonna work in Madden 15, but in Madden 25, there's two main concepts on killing man coverage with this makeshift screen. And the first one is to motion that drag route one or two clicks to the left or the inside and hike the ball. You're going to see the receiver delay. He's going to dip. But once he cuts to the inside, he's going to get separation on his defender. And the screen is going to be just as effective as zone because the defender will be nowhere in sight. You can, however, only do this with receivers that are off the line of scrimmage. Here in shotgun normal or shotgun doubles, the slot receiver cannot be motioned and hiked. That's because he's on the line of scrimmage. If you motion him to the right, to the right, you won't be able to hike the ball right away. You actually have to motion the left outside receiver who's off the line of scrimmage. You would do the same exact thing. He gets separation and then read your blocks. Now we're going to show you the second way on killing man coverage using this makeshift screen on Madden 25 and that's by using specific formations. We're looking for formations in which the cornerbacks, our opponent's cornerbacks, are not lined up correctly on our receivers. They're lined up to the outside of our receivers, giving us more separation and making our receivers unbumbable. One of the formations that this happens with is shotgun split close out of Indi Indianapolis Colts playbook. We're doing this against a two man under. We're gonna show you that it works perfectly against any type of man coverage or zone. On the left side, we're gonna do the same thing we were doing with zone, wheel the running back, streak X. We're gonna drag the outside right receiver, which is Hester. That's who we wanna do the screen with. As you can see, the outside right corner is not lined up directly on him. And then finally, we're gonna whip route the A receiver. Now, the reason why we're putting him on a whip route is because he's gonna set a pick or a rub on the outside right corner. The outside right corner is going to be forced to redirect himself when trying to guard Hester or else he's going to run into the whip route, causing even more separation on the drag route. As you can see, the corner starts off to the right of Hester. Hester's quicker than that corner to begin with. Plus with the rub, he has a good two, three yards of separation. 
and four blockers on that left side to potentially get a huge play. If you know it's man coverage and you want to get a big play on this makeshift screen, you could do the same setups, but now drag the outside left receiver. This is going to give you one less defender to block because that outside left corner is going to go to the right side. And plus, it's one extra guy in the middle of the field to potentially rub into that outside right corner. Here you see we got a huge play with Hester. Now, if you really want to be strategic, I'm going to show you something we do out of Indy's playbook. We broke this down in our membership. And this is the type of stuff you're going to see in our membership is we're motioning the running back on his wheel from left to right. Now we're causing a flood on the right side. There's four guys on the right side. So it's gonna force our opponent to manually play the right side. If he manually plays the right side, we hit him with the makeshift screen to the left. If he plays the screen, we do certain route combos on the right side to get someone wide open. So it's pretty much no matter what, we're gonna have either an open screen or an open receiver on the right side. That would kill man coverage, and if they play zone, the screen, unless manually guarded, is going to kill that as well. As you can see, this screen is extremely effective no matter what formation you do it out of. The key is to not do it every single time. You don't want to make yourself predictable. That's why, like, say with this specific motion I'm showing you here out of um, split close, we do this motion with every type of pass play, even some running plays. So... You, want, you don't want to limit yourself to just having the screen as your main option on offense, obviously. But it could be a home run hitter, especially against zone coverage and man, depending on the formation that you're using. Heading into Madden 15, we're pretty confident that this makeshift screen will work. Mainly against zone coverage, we're not sure if those two tactics that we just showed you in this video will work in Madden 15. But that's going to be one of the first things we lab is how to do this makeshift screen against man coverage on Madden 15. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit it with a like. If somehow you're just watching the channel for the first time and you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to the channel for the best Madden tips out, great gameplays, and new Madden 15 news and updates. We're going to start being more active as the days and weeks go on as we get ready for Madden 15. I would say about mid-July, we're going to start posting daily videos again on YouTube. But until then, follow us on Instagram. We're posting every single day our best highlight videos of the year, the best user picks, hit sticks, game-winning touchdowns, all of that. Follow us on IG. And until next time, it's lights. Later.